Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Today is my last day at this RV park located in Jersey, uh, New Jersey City, New Jersey. Um, I think that's what I said. Is it New Jersey City, New Jersey or Jersey City, New Jersey? It's one of them. <laughs> but um, today's my last day. I spent the majority of my time in New York. So now we are chilling in Jersey, New Jersey today. And uh, we're going to go check out the uh, famous Liberty State Park. I'm walking and uh, we're going to go check it out. The park is just breathtaking. So I'm walking there now and I have to go through an alley. But the, the lady that worked here was like, oh, don't worry, sweetheart. Uh, the alley is fine. It's completely safe. Just make sure you take pictures once you exit because you're going to be able to see the, the Statue of Liberty in New York skyline. I freaking love Jersey accents. So... That's where we're headed right now. I will see you when I'm closer to the park. See you guys in a bit. So we're about to hit this alley. Uh, I'm wearing uh, my mic because it's extremely windy. Uh, I wish I would have worn my mic, my mic during the New York trip, but it would have just been too much. I have a bunch of wires hanging out my phone with the mic and stuff. So hopefully going down this alley. I'm scared. No, I'm joking. Would be a truck coming. Man, isn't that beautiful? And that's a cruise ship, like a cruise, uh, uh, boat where you can go on and cruise like parts of New York but why cruise when you can walk that's what I like about New York and New Jersey uh, especially New York I haven't really visited New Jersey this is like day one and my only day but especially New York I love that the city is, 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 well, I can only speak for lower Manhattan and Manhattan because that's kind of where I spent my time because that's where the, you know, the things that, that I wanted to see. But it, the city is so set up for pedestrians to walk and bikers to bike. It's really nice. I guess it's where people store their boats and stuff. I wonder how much that cost. There's a ton of boats just parked. So now we're about to, we're about four minutes away from the park. I'm glad I asked the, uh, worker, um, that worked at the uh, place where to go because the GPS had me going a totally different route, which would have been a lot longer, so. All right, we found it, Liberty State Park. All right, let's roll. I just, <laughs> New Jersey. New York, ha, <laughs> that's incredible. All right, we're almost, uh, I can see the water off in the distance, so we're almost uh, to the beautiful parts of the park. But I really am enjoying this walk. I've been walking everywhere since I, you know, came to Jersey and visited New York, which I, I love. Except I took the cab once when I got lost. I mean, I could have got back on the train, but at that point I was defeated. I was exhausted and I'm like 24 bucks. Can't beat it. Look at the Statue of Liberty right there. I mean, she is beautiful. She looks bigger from my perspective, but there she is right there. Let's see if we can get closer to see her. Oh, wow, that's amazing. This park has benches where you can sit and just stare off to the beautiful distance. There's the Statue of Liberty right there. 
I'm about to sit on that bench and just admire the Statue of Liberty and admire the, what's this, the Hudson Bay, Hudson River. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So peaceful. I really enjoyed my my trip. Um, if this is what it's gonna be like, you know, I know there'll be ups and downs, of course, but you know, I just love traveling. I love looking at different states and seeing what every state has to offer as far as like just the sights and the food and people and it's a great kickoff to to the start of leaving Michigan. Um, before, you know. I leave Michigan, I wanted to visit New York. New York was my bucket state list. And uh, New Jersey was right there, which was an added bonus. And so just to be able to park at a, uh, an RV park and have my, my you know, van and uh, you know, secured and you got security there, constantly watching off of Marina where there's boats and water, it was just, it was amazing. You know, I'm gonna take this this view in a little more, you know, and then we're gonna head down to downtown uh, New Jersey City and uh, take a look at the architecture and the sites and, you know, see if we can find any cool bakeries or, you know, there's a couple of restaurants I wanna give a try. I probably, I'm gonna cook tonight, but you know, I do wanna have some lunch. Probably pizza again, what the heck. Um, but uh, we'll see. But I just, just want to take this in a little bit longer. And then um, I'll see you guys in a bit. So now we are in downtown Jersey City. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is just probably just eat at a burger place, um, a Shake Shack. Probably, I think I saw Shake Shack down here when I was coming. So that's kind of what I'm gonna do. Um, but we'll just take a look at some of the buildings, some of the architecture, uh, see what Jersey City has to offer. And then, um, Grab a bite to eat and head back. Uh, guess I gotta get some rest. I gotta go to bed early. I got a 10 hour drive tomorrow. Yeah, I'm driving the whole 10. I'm gonna take my time, but um, I got a lot of appointments lined up for next week. And uh, I, like literally every day next week. So I need to be back in Michigan to knock this stuff out so we can head down south. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Go. Uh, 22. Can I cross this in 22 seconds? I better be able to. If not, oh, well, I'm all up traffic. Autumn um, days of me doing a track 10 miles, 8 miles. Look at these people. Impatient. I got the right of way, buddy. So I got four, four seconds. Chill. Chill on your tourists. Look at that building. I mean, man. There's a Starbucks. I should grab a coffee. Yeah, there is, but uh, it's a Starbucks. I'm gonna wait. Let's go look around. Look at that beautiful painting. 
I don't know if that's a painting. Yeah, someone painted on the side of the wall. It's impressive. It's a lot of people that have dogs down here. So now we're just getting lost. I don't know. But that's cool. It's Jersey City. It's small. It's not uh, as big as New York. So I feel a lot more confident in just getting lost and find my way back. As opposed to being in like New York and getting lost and uh, staying lost. They got a lot of Dunkin' Donuts down here. And there's McDonald's. Like New York has a ton of McDonald's. I don't know what kind of car that is, but I'll take it. My goodness, that's a nice car. I think that's a, is that a Lamborghini? Is that a Lamborghini? Bam, what kind of car is that? Is that a Lamborghini? Their downtown's very quaint. Um, it's a, more my speed. Um, unlike New York, it was very stressful, but I actually loved it and didn't want to leave, which is weird. I can't explain it. Uh, we are going to, we're going to cross here. Yeah, it's a Lamborghini. And they're like, these, these little valet kids are just starstruck by a Lamborghini. What is that, a $300,000 car? Roman knows authentic Italian kitchen. It's closed, or I would try it. I mean, very quaint. I think you can just walk down the middle of this. This is pretty cool. Oh, this is nice. We'll just kind of walk down the center. Helen's Pizza. I mean, if all else fails, we can try that. I know I said I was pizzaed out, but what's one more slice? I like architecture like that. Kind of reminds me of California a little bit. Different colors on the buildings. I don't know if those are apartments, but I don't know. I just always like stuff like that. I think that is so beautiful. I think California has a lot of that. Kind of like, that's so cool. I know it's something simple, but it's simplicity and things that I find really fascinating color coding different colors I think we've looked as far as we're gonna look fam I don't see anything very look at that I think that is so cool um, let's go up this way um, and then find something to eat I like the downtown Jersey City it's a nice quaint uh, city um, but it's time for me to grab something to eat and head back I think I saw all that I was gonna see. I don't think there's anything else to see in the this part. But like I said, quaint. And everybody has a dog. Maybe that's a sign. Maybe I should get a dog. I think I just saw a bakery. Uh, I'm gonna go in. Cafe something. Right there. 
We're gonna go in, see what they have to offer. Let's go in. Look at all those beautiful desserts, guys. You know I have a sweet tooth. Oh, wow. I've never had any of this before. Maybe I should give it a try. I'm kind of scared. Okay, so I found a bakery. I'm all for, I have a sweet tooth. And it's, um, I showed you guys, but this is what I got. It's like a blueberry cake thing. It's a name I can't even pronounce. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name, but I know blueberries in it, but the last name. And she said it was amazing, the person that worked there. And I asked her to, you know, describe it. And she says, like, it's a blueberry with, I guess, a crust. And then it, like, kind of melts in your mouth. So let's give it a try. I like blueberry. I'm just trying everything to get my hands on. Here we go. Try again, hold on. Let me get another bite. Hold up. This is amazing. Mm -mm -mm. This is amazing. I don't even know how to describe it. The cake just melts in your mouth. Wow, <laughs> that was really good. They had a cheesecake thing that I was gonna get because I'm a sucker for cheesecake. Even after my last experience uh, with cheesecake, when I tried it from that Takashi's Bakery in New York, I don't like it, but. Mmm, this is good. The crust at the bottom is, is crunchy, but it, it's really sweet. Mm -hmm. The crust, it's like the star of the show. The bottom, this part, oh my goodness. I That is so good. This is good, guys. This is amazing. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh my goodness. I can't even just, this is freaking amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. This is good. Oh, seriously, the blueberries are just fresh. not too sweet but it's literally just right I'm gonna finish this up and I'll see you guys when I figure out where I'm gonna eat my lunch I'll see you guys in a bit After giving it much thought, I'm gonna cook. <laughs> I don't feel like eating out. So we're gonna head back to my van and I'm gonna make me something to eat. I'm exhausted, it's been a fun day of exploring, but it's time for your girl to eat and relax. I'll see you guys when I'm back at my van. another beef patty this time we're gonna use rice and uh, we're gonna use rice and um, um, eggs it's gonna make a bowl I didn't really want to make this because I don't want to clean anything because I am leaving early in the morning but it's okay 
I don't want this beef to go bad. Got some scrambled egg, or some eggs, I'm gonna scramble them. This is a lazy meal, guys. This is one lazy freaking meal. <laughs> But, um, nonetheless, it's going to be a good meal. Just going to move that over. Use that uh, grease right there. Okay, now that that is, the eggs are done. We're gonna add a serving of rice. Yes, I love rice. I eat rice. Grew up on rice, pretty much eat it with everything. Oh man, I made a mess. I wish I could eat more <laughs> rice, but I buy these little cups, which are single serving so that I don't go crazy and uh, eat a ton of rice. I got my sweet soy sauce. That's all I need for this. Go across the rice, go across the eggs. Here is the finished results. Today was relaxing. It was definitely a day where I just took the time to kind of just reset and enjoy the views. Um, Liberty State Park was a really beautiful park overlooking the New York skyline. Uh, and I was able to see the Statue of Liberty um, from the park. Wish I could have seen the Statue of Liberty up close, but I'll take what I can get. You know... I stayed at Liberty <clears throat> Harbor RV Park because the main reason was <clears throat> it was so spicy, this beef, is because I wanted to visit New York. That was a bucket, list state, a bucket list state of mine. And I couldn't believe when I did research and found Liberty um, Harbor Park, I found that through YouTube. And that's why I came down here to this RV park because it's 15 minutes from New York. I spent the majority of my time in New York. I really, really enjoyed it. But hey, you know, New Jersey, I'm in New Jersey. So it's like, I'm not gonna not <laughs> visit New Jersey as well. I wanted to see the 9-11 the Memorial <clears throat> that was in New Jersey or that was in Jersey City, but I couldn't find it. I thought it was located at the uh, at Liberty State Park, but I, I didn't see it. And uh, I didn't even ask anybody. It was like people walking their dogs and I just wanted to just chill and relax. So I didn't get to see that, but I was really happy that I did get to go visit the state park because I wanted to visit the state park at least because that was like one of the main attractions to visit when you're in Jersey City. And so I was happy that I was able to do that. I just like today, like this whole trip made me realize that. And I know it should be common sense, but it made me realize that wherever I go, it's going to be a different pace. It's wherever I, when, when I start travel full time and I start visiting these different states, more states I'll be chill, relaxed, cool, calm, collected. In other states, I'll be like, go, 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 like visiting, like New York. It was just like, go, 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 you know, go to Times Square, see everything, the, the people, just the crowds. And may I remind you, Times, I, I don't believe that Times Square had that many people because it was Times Square. I just think that many people were there because that's just New York, you know, the area I was in. It's like everywhere I was in, in Manhattan, it was just really 
packed with people just people getting off work the hustle and bustle people getting out of school it was, it was just it was just like overwhelming it was a really it was a great experience i it was just i'm so happy i was able to to check new york off my list jersey city was a nice quaint um um city it kind of remind me of grand rapids a little bit grand rapids michigan it's more my speed it's like it's it's less busy it's still busy but it's not as busy you know as new york of course but jersey city is just it's a cute it's a cute city it's very nice it's very clean i love the way it looked the architecture all of it i really enjoy just kind of walking around looking at the, the architecture um i really wanted to try um some of those pizza restaurants that were down there but i was like uh it's, i'm gonna save money i want to cook and i don't want to always go out to eat every time i visit a new state i i think going forward i'll just pick like maybe like something that that's like something like a restaurant in that area that's like well known that you might see off of food network or something like that but for the most part i'll be cooking you know just save money and just being a little healthier but but this is not your typical rv park but i truly enjoyed my time here it was extremely quiet even though the marina is like right there and there's a bunch of cars parked there starting at six in the morning to catch the ferry to new york to go to work it was still really quiet <clears throat> the park the, the rv park is well lit at night i mean well lit. you would think it was daylight and they have security so i felt safe it was nice i really enjoyed myself And for me, <clears throat> you know, this is, this is the best setup for me to to visit New York. Being in an RV park, leaving my vehicle here where it's nice, secured, and me going into New York as opposed to driving in. I'm not driving in New York. Everybody talking horns, going crazy, screaming, flipping people off. Jersey too. Everybody, Jersey City people. I've never heard so many people honking their horns a day in my life. My, everybody's honking their horn. Like, good God. Even the mailman was honking his horn. He was upset at, at a driver. And he was flooring it down the uh, street in Jersey City. I was like, whoa. Whoa. I can't wait to hit up the beaches. Chill on the beach. Be a beach bum all day. I really can't wait. I can't wait to go hiking. I can't, I just, I literally can't wait. I'm so excited. <clears throat> this trip was amazing. I gotta get back to Michigan. I got a lot, a lot of stuff coming up within the next week. But, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Finish this up. Get back in the bed. Um, be up at four in the morning. I haven't, <clears throat> I gotta be up at four in the morning and, um, four or five. Cause I got a long drive ahead of me to get back to Michigan. I want to take my time. And the reason why I'm leaving this early in the morning is cause I want to get through Pennsylvania before traffic, before anything. And it's supposed to rain. And so the part of Pennsylvania that I got to drive through, um, it's got like drop off cliffs. It's got winding curvy roads, uh, t tons of tons, like four or five tunnels you got to go through up and down hills, which increases your speed. It's just, a, it's a lot. So I want to leave early. So there's not a lot of people on the road so I can take my time and not feel like someone is on me, pushing me to get out the way or whatever. Even though I didn't get that, uh, feeling driving through Pennsylvania when I was coming to, um, Jersey, everybody was pretty respectful of space and understanding the dangers of the roads that we're on. I still just don't want to take a chance. I just prefer to leave early. Excuse me. So. Mm. Mm -mm. That is a good made up meal. It's time for me to go. Uh, go ahead and head out. I appreciate you guys more than you know. You already know. I... Thank you so much for just taking a little bit of time out your day to spend it with me when you literally could have been doing anything else. That means the world to me. But I'm out. Thanks for watching. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Peace.